hey, here's an easy way to make a tile map in for Bitsy. So let's say you have a lot of different tiles that you want to create, and you don't want to create them one by one here using this tiny editor. One way you can do it is using this website called pixelart.com. You could make a giant image. In this case, I made an image that was 24 pixels by 24 pixels. If you remember that each of the tiles is 8 by 8 in Bitsy, then that means I have nine tiles, right? There's eight by eight, eight by eight, eight by eight, and so on, so that there are nine separate tiles. In this case, I made essentially the corner of a room, the top tile for the room, upper right corner, and so on. So I made kind of a, a room here that's just one one uh, tile in has a one tile space in the center and for that middle part, part I just kind of made up a sprite that could be handy but you can imagine that you could have a 10 by 10 uh, map of sprites here uh, or sorry of tiles and then what you do is just go to file uh, download and you can save it as a PNG right here and once you've saved it um, you can go to tilez which is at this URL right here if I hit run tool I can either create a new game or load an existing game in theory you should be able to if you're already using a game here you should be able to download the game data and then load it here in tilesy so let me load choose file and choose that bitsy file and then hit next choose the image file that I created in uh, pixel art and hit next and then I just give it a name, whatever I want these sprites to be um, called in Bitsy. And that's it. When I just, kind of, the easiest thing to do here is just highlight and copy, and then go over here to Bitsy and paste the game data in. So now if I look in Bitsy, I should have a whole new set of tiles. Wall one is the corner, and I've got wall two, which is the left side. Wall three is the lower corner in the left side and wall four is the upper part of the room wall five is just that kind of random uh, tile that i made in the center and i've got my bottoms here upper left corner right side lower right corner and i think that's it so uh, at this point whatever i could kind of remove everything else I'd want to make sure that these are set to be walls if I don't want people to be able to walk through them or the avatar to be able to walk through them. And uh, at this point, I can also say, well, I don't really like the way that these are patterning, so I could kind of tweak them by just making changes and see it happen in real time. So that's one way that you can kind of get tiles into Bitsy uh, all at once and be able to draw them as one big uh, tile map rather than each individual one.